Hello, my name is Manuel Delgado. I'm an old world luthier, and what that means is I'm somebody who makes string instruments using old world techniques or methods. I think the thing that I enjoy the most is that we do so many different types of instruments, so I don't feel like I'm always having to do the same thing. So maybe one day I'm making an ukulele, which is a four string Hawaiian instrument, and maybe another day I'm making a concert classical guitar, or another day maybe I'm making a banjo, or maybe another day I'm making an Irish bazooki. There's all these different types of instruments. My business was started by my grandfather and his brother, and then it was passed down to my dad, and then passed down to me. So when I was seven years old, I started doing repairs in the shop. And when I was 12 years old, I built my very first guitar, and I still have it. Uh, actually have it here at the shop. So what makes our instruments different is, well, one, we make them by hand. And when I say that, a lot of people will say handmade, but they use machines to do a lot of the things, and we don't. That's why, as I mentioned earlier, I'm what's called an old world luthier. It's not just because I'm old, it's because we're using techniques that were done many, 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 many years ago. Some of them before a lot of machines or even electricity might have been created. So we'll still use knives to carve the necks, and we'll use chisels to uh, cut out the area where the sound hole is to put in the really beautiful decoration. It's called a rosette. We treat every instrument like an individual. So we don't say, this guitar is gonna be just like all the other guitars. We look at the woods and we say, what's special about these woods and what can we do to bring out that what's very special about this particular instrument? I have an instrument on my bench right now. It's called an ukulele. And some people say ukulele, but the right way to say it is ukulele. And ukulele is a Hawaiian word. So this is a ukulele, and this is made out of the traditional wood that comes from Hawaii which is koa. So you can see right here, these are the sides, and this is the top, and this is the back, and it's actually made out of the same piece of wood. And when this instrument is done, the tuning on it is, my dog has fleas. Sometimes people ask me for advice, and I tell them what my father always told me. You start with the end in mind. If you know that you want to be a great athlete, then you know that you have to exercise at that sport, whatever it might be, maybe every day to get better at it. If you know that you want to become a better mathematician, then you know that you need to work more at your math problems so that you can be a better mathematician at the end of it. And if you know that you want to be a great guitar player or a great guitar maker, then you're going to spend more time on that art so you can keep getting better and better and better at it. Hi, my name is Andrea and I'm an art teacher with Tennessee Craft. I enjoyed hearing Manuel talk about how he and his family have been making finely crafted stringed instruments for generations. Today we're going to create our own instrument, a box guitar using some materials that you can mostly find around the house. So let's get started. You'll need a box. You'll also need cardstock, rubber bands, metal brads, tapes for decoration, glue, scissors, a pencil, and a skewer if you have one. Now to get started we're going to first work on the bridge, the part where the strings rest. We're going to do that first so it can be drying. I have a piece of cardstock that's about two by three inches and I'm going to fold it in half and then fold it again towards the center. And once folded, I'm going to apply glue along the edge and form a triangle shape. This will give some structure with the double-sided cardstock. Set that to the side and we'll allow that to dry. Next, we need to determine the placement of our sound hole. And Manuel helped me come up with a template for a box of this size. You can adjust according to the size of box you have. You can find this template online with the written instructions that accompany this activity. I'm going to first place the template in the center of the box. To put the sound hole in, you could use something like a cup and trace it, or a little trick I have is that I can punch a hole and then use my own protractor 
based on the dimensions of half of the circle. I'll show you how that works. I'll hold this in place and then draw my circle just like that. At this point you probably want to have an adult help you cut the circle. Once you have the circle cut, we're going to punch holes in the top of the box. You can see here, these four holes will line up going across the sound hole. This is important because that's where the strings need to lie. Whenever you have those holes punched, you can see I've started to insert metal brads. You'll do that with all four holes. The brads open up so they allow you to close and they'll stay securely fastened from the inside. Once you have done that, you could start with a decoration. Using tapes or markers or crayons, any way you want to decorate it is fine. I chose to use these decorative tapes and made a design going around the rosette and around the binding, which is what keeps the top and the sides securely fastened together. You can see here I've already started to place my rubber bands using the brads as guidance. I'm just going to put this last one in so you can see. I'll go right across and on the box. Let's line it up after you get it on. Now the cool thing about the brads here is they allow you to make adjustments. If you want to change the tightness of the rubber bands, you just twirl them around the brad. At this point, if we tried to play it, you don't get very much sound, but that's where the bridge comes in. So lift the strings and slide in the bridge. And listen. You've just created your own box guitar inspired by Delgado Guitars. For more information about this activity, including step-by-step -step instructions, tips, and tricks, please visit TennesseeCraft.org.